be with me to do this meditation together i am nelson kuto and here we are to think of and to meditate upon bringing things into focus and considering why we are not getting what we really search for as we go into this meditation of i am sorry bring your body once more to relax be at peace with every cell of your body let the muscles of your face relax and con- and start right now to take a deep breath keep that breath for a few seconds and release it once more take a deep breath and let the silence and the breath get into you and release it as you do this breathing in and out ceaselessly relax every muscle of your body begin now with your neck go to your shoulders let them droop relax your back muscles and breathe in and breathe out and with every breath let peace fill your being go to your chest and your stomach and bring relaxation over there now go to the tip of your feet right down to your toes wriggle them a little and let them be free to relax consider your heel and the arch of your feet and there to try to move them a little and then let it relax begin to move upwards gradually to your shins and to your calves relax 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 your knees your thighs the place where you rest on the chair on your seat and your hips feel your body to be boneless and just be breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and as you do that release from your thought a single thought a thought that the world has given you a thought that the nation that your culture that your parents 
have given you and you have unconsciously made it your own. Get this thought to arise from your consciousness and look at it and you will see the thought is I can do it. Just think of that. How many times <clears throat> in how many ways and in how many combinations and permutations of the same word have you said it to yourself. Just think of it. I can do it. Think of it as neither positive or negative just the sound. I can do it. Now let your mind go back and see all the relationships that you have entered into ever since you were a child. The relationships with your parents, with your siblings, with your friends, with your first love, with your office workers, fellow workers, with the vendors, so many relationships we have entered into. And there might have been quite a few relationships, friendships, where you began to think that this would last forever. Think on those relationships right now for a minute or two. Did you not say that you could make that relationship last forever? I can do it. I can make this person love me. I can make this person be attracted to me. I can make this person do what I want them to do. I can do it. And look at that, those relationships right now. Where have they all gone? Hundreds of them. You may not even have a memory of them, but they were valued and you thought you could keep them going. I can do it, but then deep in your heart, you begin to tell yourself, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have done it. It was impossible for me to keep 
that relationship alive and vibrant and glowing and fulfilling. It has gone the way as so many things in my life have gone away. Gone away. Consider the times in this competitive world when you were told by your parents, those who wished you well, that if others can do it, you can do it. Maybe you succeeded, maybe you did not. But as you grew wiser, maturer, and older in age, you began to see that there are many things that others can do better than you. And also many things you can do better than them. And then you began to think, is life a competition? Is life trying to be one up over the other? Is life about getting more, going higher, spreading further, diving deeper? And then maybe at a certain moment, Wisdom struck you and you told yourself, I am out of this competition forever. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. Continue breathing in and breathing out in a totally relaxed way. I can't do it. Look once again at some of the most important desires that have marked your life. For example, the desire to be happy, the desire to have peace, the desire to be fulfilled. These are the very important desires that we have tried and tried and tried to succeed getting it. You have gone a long way in trying to be happy and it has always been within your grasp but never in your grasp. You have thought over and over again that peace is around the corner, that peace will be had when certain things are put together, that peace and understanding will be yours if certain people change, if certain events take another turn, if certain situations show their face to the sun. And yet, maybe you have just 
given up. Just given up and say, this is it. This is all the peace I will get. This is all the happiness that I can get to keep. I can't do it. I don't think I will really be happy and peaceful totally ever. I can't do it. That, my dear friends, is something that you have to grapple with. And I leave you again to breathe in and breathe out and meditate on what we have said so far. Relax. 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 And as you struggled, and finally concluded to yourself, I can't do it. So I will try to be satisfied with what I have. It's a, a very good way to deal with life. But that is not the why we came into this world. A very charming way to say, I will be satisfied with what I have. And yet, we have to say, we have reached that level of saying, I am satisfied just because we can't get more. Just because we have subscribed to that belief that I can't do it. See for yourself once again how predictable and how mediocre life has turned out for you. And all because you said, I can do it. Everything is the same. Your words are repeated over and over again. Your thoughts are being repeated over and over again. The way you walk, the way you, you open the door, the way you behave, the way you do everything. You may say it is uniquely yours, but you have fallen into mediocrity. You have fallen into predictable behavior and mannerism. Once again, as you breathe in and breathe out, think of your predictable and mediocre life because you said, I can do it. Relax, 
relax. And look at the universe. Appeal to the universe. An appeal to God. An appeal to all and everything that has been reaching out to you to help you. To help you. Look at the arms of God reaching out to you. Look at the universe spending itself over and over again so that you can say, I can't do it. Will you help me? I can't do it. Will you help me? I know you are there. I know that everything is there in your hands. I'm sorry for not having approached you earlier. Breathe in and breathe out and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Please do it for me. I trust you. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Please do it for me. I am sorry. You are my life. I have abandoned you. And I come back to you for your help. You can do it for me. You will do it for me. You are all that I have. I'm sorry. And we open our hearts and our bodies and our minds on behalf of every human being on this planet who has played the game of I can do it. And on their behalf, we breathe in and we breathe out and whisper, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. And as your words become more and more sincere, you will begin to feel a glow of peace in your heart. Peace begins to glow within you as the universe and God has answered your call for help. The help has arrived. The help is yours. The help will remain with you as you continue to make wider the doors by which help 
comes to you by saying on behalf of the world and all our brothers and sisters i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry and peace be with you my friends